Hey guys, I do an announcement to make. So before I start part two again, um, part one is kind of useless now since I'm gonna reprogram everything. But the code is in the description, which I'm gonna be editing right now. So give me a sec. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, part one was pretty useless. So technically, I would consider this a part one slash part two as well. I don't know. So we're gonna go to Visual Studio. We're gonna create a new console project, C Sharp, because why not? And we're gonna name it RBX Dev Cons. Oh. Such a professional name, guys. Isn't that a Sigma name? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure we always set our project platform to 64 bit. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, so let's just do that. Sorry, I was distracted. Okay. So this is where our whole shit's gonna practically start. So guys, we're gonna just do that. So let's do that. We're gonna start with console dot title equals RBX div. Okay, so we're just gonna start with this right over here. What the hell? There's just gunshots in my backyard. You are back. Alright guys, so I resolved a gunshotting in my backyard. I don't know why that's happening. Anyways, um we're gonna start with this is simple bridge. So we're gonna do in bar listener equals new new HTTP listener and we're just gonna give our listener dot list dot, what what listener dot prefixes dot add what we're gonna name our bridge HTTP local host 1999 that's nice now uh, you can do everything anything you want you guys don't have to copy my exact port I just wanna see if this is valid before we go, so no if it is valid, so yeah. Now how do we check if it's valid? We essentially just have to open it and if it does not load, it does not exist pretty much. That should be your final Well that's what we can conclude from here. Right here. I'm gonna be a little bit cool right here and use advanced words. Bro! <laughs> So essentially, this is how it's gonna work. When someone calls point, it's gonna send it right here. That's pretty much all you gotta guys have to understand it. Not do anything advanced. Guys, a gunshot in my backyard. Foreground. I just want to test this out real quick. I don't think that's how you do it. Wait, is this going to be blue then? Now, this will stop the console from closing. If you guys are new, okay, that does work. There we go, two splits. So this will create two lines. There we go, that's where our input starts. Oh, let's do another one right here. Okay, so. Wait.
wait a second. Um. Um. I've got to do it. I don't do it set window. I might have to use a deal import because this shit's cancerous. God, I forgot what you was it? Okay, we'll do it on the second. Okay, waiting for output. There we go. This is where, we, this is where the bridge starts. So, we're gonna start with a loop. Now, this will continually listen for prints, you know, errors. So, more contacts equals listener dot get contact. Pretty much the same. As we did for our uh, what was that one video we did? The bridge video. So this is all what we're gonna do. So URL dot God this is a drone in my backyard. Meter request. Pretty much the same thing as you did for the last video, but I feel like I'm gonna do it again for more like watch time. Cause why not? Now string response. We set that to empty for right now. Now we do it in a case system. Why are you erring, buddy? Why are you erring? Oh shit! I have double. Okay, I'm going to response mess me message. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so this is what we're going to do in here. We start case print. Now, what will happen if we do case print? Case one break. Now, there's only four types, but we're not going to do info because not really any use to the new gens don't know anything about info informational. And you guys probably think I just joined, but I I was probably exploding when you were in when you were eating your, your shit. Well, we're not gonna need a default because we're never even gonna call it. We're doing console dot four four. What are we doing? That's better. Okay, and then we're doing break because we can't forget that. Now, same thing over here. We're doing white here. White, yellow, red. We're almost done. When we start code right here, response. Equal oh responses response bytes equal encoding dot utfa pretty much the same video as I said you know nothing really nothing really crazy about this bro wait oh content line sixty four bytes dot length Oh wait, I didn't get the byte. Okay, so it takes the bytes first. Okay, and then the last one I think it should be. Oh wait, no. no. Okay, yeah, my bad. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty much that concludes our end. That's the that concludes our end of our shit. Console the right line. Well, we're going to send the data anyways. So... 
I'm just thinking how I'm gonna do this. Um I mean you see, so what I could do is the colors already tell you what's the difference between each one. Yeah, I guess it's, yeah, I guess. Okay, so we're, we're gonna, this is the wrong one. There we go, that's better. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much done. We're gonna, t something wrong here, but I don't know. Okay, never mind. So it's on. So now we're gonna go to our lovely exploit real quick. And I'll show you guys what you get. Okay, so I'm I'm back. I use I use my request function. Got that added, registered, and uh, yeah, let's go to Roblox game. Make sure it's matched. Ah, that shit was loud as hell. And it should work. Should. I love fine shape. I'm just saying. I'm just saying this. Sh I don't know. Um Hello? Oh my god, I forgot. So my thing does not work. Okay guys, do not worry, I found I figured out the problem. Oh I shit ass thing. This should work. There we go guys. We're perfectly fine. Now Um Yeah, don't worry about that. That happens a lot for me. That only happens for me, don't worry, not for you guys. So that pretty much that does work. We're gonna we're gonna make it a little bit extended now. Obviously, what you just saw it crash. That's normal. That's my exploit. It's not gonna happen in yours, hopefully. So warn, warn. That's what you do. Then error. Error. So I, I will give the code in description, obviously, because you guys are little skitty skits. And I gotta see my little skits. That was a little cringe. Holy shit! Why did I say that? I sound old as shit. Okay, so warn and error, guys. Now we're gonna do assert as well. Okay, is that all? Oh, that's the yeah, right. Okay, guys, so that's pretty. That's pretty much it. We're gonna test it out right now. Let's go. So this can run indefinitely. We're gonna restart it just to make it a little bit clean, and that's pretty much what you would do. Now, obviously, in a UI, you would just create a list box, you know, append. I'm gonna close this actually, that's useless. Oh, actually, that was useful. Damn it. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. A little bit for treasure. Obviously, this is not needed, so we're just gonna go straight to our exploit. So these are our Roblox now. Let's cause an let's do error. Right we can do something very simple. Execute. There we go, guys. It works. You can probably we can purposely. Well, the thing is, with my exploit, it will be a little bit weird because I do instantly call it in the console. But obviously, you can find you can find a fix for that. If I do call in the wrong function, it will say that. But other than that, everything print warning error will be logged into your console. That's pretty much what you guys do. See guys, everything like that works. Print game dot players dot name. Oh wait, game dot. Was it local player? Oh, it's local. I'm sorry. Guys, that works. You can see it works very, very good. Yeah, ignore that. That's not probably not gonna happen to you. Well, that's pretty much that's an example of what I wanted to give you guys, what you guys can do with this, you know, it's only the beginning of what you can do. Now, just to make you guys feel better about yourselves, because it, it looks like shit, I will be going right here, Roblox. So this is my console, my new console now. You can obviously disable the F9 key while Roblox is being hovered on, so Roblox, the users can't go to the developer console pretty good in my opinion but you know oh I got attached
Let's have this right here. What's happening here? What's wrong with you, Roblox? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just execute. You know what? I'm gonna just execute my code. Oh my god, it works, guys. Whoa. Pog. Absolutely insane. And all scripts should be returning right here. You know what? It's really good. You guys can't even tell that I'm literally using this. You know, it's pretty good. That's all you gotta do, guys. Pretty much it works. Oh, what were, what, were, what, were, what, were, what were, If I were to print something that does not exist, it would er error in here because it obviously does not exist. There will be a fix I might be doing in the future, but this is just to overwrite print. Oh man! I'm kidding guys, I'll make a part during this soon, how to get the actual whole thing. I'll make this in the description for you guys that need it. See you guys in the next video, that's pretty much what you do. Bye.